This is Jen Judkins with Teaching Forward. This video explores how to move images within Google Docs. There are multiple options for positioning images with inside of a document. We're going to quickly look through each option and explain the differences. Let's get started. A common frustration with Google Docs users is not knowing how to get images to behave and get in the position you want them to. It's pretty easy once you know how to access the options for moving images around in a document. So I'm going to insert an image from my desktop. And typically when you insert an image, it will just pop into the document kind of where your cursor is. But usually you want it to move somewhere specific. And to do this, you click on the image to allow the blue handlebars to appear. And then you get the positioning options that show below. Hovering over each one tells you what they are. We're gonna go through each carefully so that you understand the differences. Inline is the default positioning of an image. Basically, it means that the image goes where your cursor is and pops it in between the text. This causes the text to get spread out and makes quite a mess. So instead, you're probably, in most cases, going to want to wrap the text around the image. This allows you to then move the image where you want and the text will position around it. There is also an option to break the text with the image. In other words, the text will appear above and below but not to either side of the image. There's a new option that allows you to position the image either in front of or behind the text. You can position the image in front of or behind text so that the text is overlaying the image or the image is overlaying the text. I'm going to try this with this image so that I can put the title on top of the image. So I'm going to put the image behind the text and that will allow me to move the image so that I can still see the text. Because the image is behind the text, I can easily click on and select my text if I wanted to change the color so it's easier to see. It allows me to do that. Now, a similar version of this is that I can put the image behind the text. I might want to do this to create a watermark effect, for example. So in this case, if I change it and put the image in front of my text, then move it, you'll see that the image covers the text completely even though it's still behind it. You might be wondering how to fix this. You can do so by clicking the three dots when you've selected the image and go to All Image Options. There is a choice to adjust the transparency of the image. This will allow you to change how lightly the image appears so that you can still read the text. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss any future videos. And you can check out our blog at teachingforward.net.